Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over a sample that I made recently and uh, showing how to just make your samples a little bit more interesting and unique. I'm going to go ahead and show a few things that I did to the sample and as always, go through and break it down. Show all the VSTs, all of the midis and the effects, the master channel, all that. This sample is from a sample pack that I just dropped called Omen. It has 30 samples in this style, a lot of dark ambient kind of vibes with some bonus midis. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that kit. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps out with the algorithm and it just helps my channel in general. So really appreciate it. And uh, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see, I got the sample pulled up here. Um, I have all of the layers right here and then everything sequenced out with the stems as always. Um, I'll go ahead and play the final sample so you can hear how it sounds, but we're sitting at 137 BPM and the sample is in G sharp minor. second half here is just the same thing except the piano is pitched up an octave so it just repeats with the piano up an octave I would play it but my computer is struggling so yeah as you can hear sample is kind of distorted um, it has a lot of uh, like ambient layers and textures and stuff like that and it just sounds really unique it has a really uh, really different vibe so I figured I'd make a video on it break it down show what I did kind of to me it kind of sounds like a Q beats loop with the piano and the um, the wobble and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's it for the final sample. I'll go ahead and start breaking it down. All right, so for the first sound, I opened up Labs um, by Spitfire Audio. It's a free plugin with a lot of good sounds, a lot of, um, a lot of banks that are all free. Most people know about this plugin, but if you don't, definitely, 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 definitely cop it. A lot of good stuff. And like I said, it's all for free. So I went in and I wanted to get like a little bit more of a unique sound because I don't usually use labs. So um, I pulled up this granular piano and it just sounds like this. So I liked how that sounded. I laid down this pattern here and this is how it sounds with no effects. Um, but what I did is I added RC20 to it. And I just kind of messed around with the knobs. Um, I half timed it. I added gross beat with the one beat gate feature. Um, I use it a lot. That's a good, uh, something good that you can add to samples if you want something to be kind of in the background and just add a little bit of a texture. Um, what it does is it just makes the sound go in and out, like in volume. Um, you put down the percentage here and then I EQ'd some of the lows, boosted some of the mids, cut out all the all the bass pretty much. And so this is what it sounds like when it is uh, half timed with all the effects. You can hear how the gross beat kind of makes it go in and out and uh, duck up and down. And so after I added that, I added the sound right here from Contact. So this is the bank that I got the sound from. It's just a violin, but it's kind of a unique sounding violin and uh, a really simple pattern. It just kind of repeats the same note, um, D sharp, then a B at the end, and then at the very end, um, an E note. But here's what it sounds like with that pattern and no effects on it. But what I did for this is I added Kramer tape to add a little bit of distortion and wobble. And then I added some delay through this plugin 
and a lot of reverb. Then once again, I used the one beat gate feature to make it go in and out. And then I EQ'd out a lot of the lows and some of the highs. And this is what it sounds like with all the effects on it. So that just sounds really unique to me, the sound itself, the sound that I started with and then adding the uh, wobble distortion and, all, and the reverb and the gross beat and all that, it just kind of made it sound a little bit more unique. So after that sound, what I did, I pitched this up an octave, this original um, sound here with all the effects on it. And then what I did, because I knew I wanted to reverse it, so what I did is I controlled all of it by hitting Control A, and then I hit Alt Y to flip it, and then you render it out as an audio clip. And then once I had it as an audio clip, I pitched it up an octave, reversed it, and then half-timed it again. And when you reverse something, I've gone over this in other tutorials, but when you reverse something, you want to make sure you select all of it and hit Alt Y, um, so that when you do reverse it, it kind of fits the um, the original melody and doesn't just sound weird. So without the halftime, it sounds like this. Which is already really unique sounding. And then I just halftime it again and EQ out some of the highs, a lot of the lows, and it sounds like this. It's just a really unique vintage um, and it was basically done just through all effects. I took the same exact pattern that I had in the first sound that was already kind of unique and different sounding. And then I added an extra layer with the same exact pattern just through effects, you know, reversing it, half timing it, pitching it up, that's it. And so I added a piano here. So for this piano, I added a lot of effects as well. Here's the pattern. It's just strum note and then it strums again. Basically what I did is I took the same pattern, added one more note here, and then I just pitched it up an octave. So as you can see, it strums. And then I did that again, pitched it up and added this note and that's it. So it strums, strums again, and then it repeats here. And then at the end here, it has um, this melody that kind of just goes down um, in a higher octave. And then for the second half of the sample, I took that same exact pattern and just pitched it up an octave. And then for effects, I added the Kramer tape again for more distortion and wobble. And then I added some fruity delay, put it at 50%. I added reverb, and then I added this stereo imager to widen it up. And then I EQ'd out some of the low mids, some harsh frequencies around the bass. And then I took out all of the lows. With all that applied to it, it sounds like this. Yeah, really distorted, really wobbly, and um, I thought it was just like a really cool, unique pattern. And then the last thing that I did is I just added a bunch of textures, basically, and um, just like different sounds. So the first thing that I did is I pulled up Contact, and I've gone over this bank before. It's a bank in Contact called Atom. Atmospheric sounds, atmosphere, FX, keys, um, synths. Has some arps too that are pretty good but uh this bank is really good for more unique sounds and i was just kind of looking around i didn't really have anything in mind but i found this effects preset right here it stutters it has a lot of weird sounding stuff so i figured maybe i can mess around with it and make it sound good so i came up with this pattern right here So in the context of everything that I showed so far, all these sounds, um, it sounds like this. And then it just repeats. So I thought that was really dope and really interesting. Um, it could probably sound really cool in a beat. And it just makes the sample stand out for sure. And another reason why I added that was because if you notice without it, if you look up here, 
I've shown in other videos how to make your samples more full. What you want to do is you want to look up here and look at the frequencies and make sure that the frequencies are all filled out from the highs all the way to the lows. So if I play the sample without those effects, you, you'll notice that there's not too many frequencies in the really high range. So I kind of wanted to fill that out too. There's a lot of space. So I knew I wanted to add a bunch of textures and like white noise and stuff to fill out that high end. So when you add this, It's not, it's not too much, it's not filling it out that much, but it's still there and it makes it really easy to hear um, those effects. So after I added that effect right there, I added this reverse piano. But what I did is the same thing that I did here. So I took the piano, I pitched it up an octave, uh, and then I hit Alt Y and flipped it again, just like the other one. But once I flipped it, I exported it out here. And when you export it, make sure that it um, has cut remainder because if it has a tail, and you reverse it, it uh, it's not gonna line up with the original melody. So make sure you cut remainder, and then I brought it in as an audio file, and I just reversed it. So when you layer it with the piano, and as you can see, all I did was I added a lot of reverb, like a lot of reverb, and then EQ'd out a lot of the lows and even the low mids, and just blended it with the, um, the original piano. Then I added another texture here. It just sounds like nighttime with birds. I don't know, it sounded good. <laughs> and once again, it just fills out more frequencies, some of the highs with the white noise and stuff. And then once I had all of that, I went ahead and added a bass pattern. For this, I used um, this bass in contact. This is a really good bass preset and came up with this pattern, really simple pattern. Then just repeats. Those are all the sounds, all the effects, all the midis, everything that I did. Once I had all that, I made sure to just sequence it out. So I have the first part where the strings are not playing and then the strings come in. And then for the second half, it's the same exact thing, but the piano is pitched up an octave. As always, I put the stems in the sample itself sequence everything out and then for the master I put on Mondo Mod Stereo and this plugin just adds even more distortion makes it sound more vintage it widens it up and it kind of makes the sample go back and forth as you can see here um, I use the wild preset and then I turn this down to 60 um, and then I turn this up this knob controls the amount of wobble that's what makes it sound more vintage and then I use this compressor to compress it and then I turn the volume up here, I just turned the gain up because I wanted it to be loud. And so I'll play the sample without those effects and it's just a minor difference. But those minor differences are what add up to make your sample sound more unique. So um, I'll go ahead and play it without the master and then I'll play it with the master. Hopefully you can hear a difference. Like I said, it's a really subtle difference. You can just hear a little bit more wobble. It's a little bit more wide. Everything sounds a little bit more in place because of the compression and everything. And it's a little bit louder. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this sample. Like I said, the sample will be in the description. I just dropped a sample pack called Omen with 30 samples in the style. A lot of orchestral, dark, um, ambient vibes with some bonus midis. So I'll go ahead and leave a link for that in the description. Yeah, hopefully you learned something. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.